Hi guys, welcome to my channel Shimmers and Polishes where you can find everything about nail art, makeup, crocheting and DIY and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it for notifications. So let's get going. Beaches, palm trees and flamingos. Everything calls out for tropical vibes. So here I'm going to create some tropical nail art with flamingos and palm trees. So let's get started. Nail colors that I've used for this tutorial will be mentioned in the description box below as always and plus I'll be using a dotting tool and some detailing brush. On three of my nails I'll be using this beautiful rose pink color from Nika and for other two nails I'll be painting them white. You can use any colors of your choice. If you don't have these colors you can just go with the colors that you have. So I'm going to go two coats each on all my nails. Once your base color has dried out completely with the help of a detailer brush and white polish I'm going to create palm branches here. So basic branches and I'm going to overlap two branches here. So one over the other because I have small nail space. So here is the other one. I'm just going to create a base for the, the other colors which will go above it. So now with the help of a darker green color I'm just going to go over over it but I'm not going to completely cover the white uh, white uh, color because I want that dimension there and once that's done I'm going to go over again with a lighter green color so light green dark green and some white and now with the help of some yellow I'm going to create some flowers with the help of a dotting tool like this so the flower will be yellow in color and in between I'm going to use pink and now for the flamingos i'm just going to create an oval shape here like so with a slightly thicker brush and create a s pattern for the neck of the flamingo like this so it's very easy to create and i'm just going to mix some white and pink polish to get a lighter shade and with the help of a black polish i'm going to create the beak and the legs like this Allow your nail art to completely dry before you go on with a good top coat to seal in the nail art. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to my channel Shimmers and Polishes and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, take care.